In this video, I want to talk about a different way to figure out the correct entry for a hold, one that I think is a little bit easier. Let's say that you have a holding fix, and this can be anything. It can be a VOR or a waypoint or really anything that you want. And let's say that you receive the following hold instructions. Hold west of the A B C V O R on the 270 radial with right turns. Fairly simple hold. Hold west on the 270 radial with right turns. Here you are making a right turn. Outbound leg turn again, inbound leg. You've got a 270 radial, so you've got a 090 radial, or sorry, a 090 heading inbound. Alright, and now let's say to yourself, uh, your aircraft is right here, and you'd like to know which way is the proper way to enter this hold. Well, what you could do is you could say, I'll draw out the standard hold entry diagram, something like this, and uh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Something like that. And you'd draw the labels, uh, this would be direct, this would be teardrop, and this would be parallel. And you'd discover to yourself that the correct entry here would be a direct entry. Fly to the fix, turn, direct entry, and there you go. But, let's say that you wanted to know if there was a different way to do it. Without drawing anything, let's say that your aircraft flies to the fix. When it arrives at the fix, which entry allows it to enter the hold with the least amount of turn? That's the question you need to ask yourself what entry allows me to do the least amount of turn? If you do a direct entry, you have to turn a slight amount. If you decide that you're going to do a parallel entry, you have to turn a lot. And if you decide that you're going to do a teardrop entry, you're going to have to turn a huge amount. Of these three, which one allows you to enter the hold while turning the least? Obviously, it's the direct entry. So, the direct entry is the one that you want to do. And if you check the overlay, that is correct. The direct entry is the one that you want to do. Well, let's try it again. Let's see if it still works somewhere else. Let's put our aircraft right here. Suppose that this aircraft is on its way to the fix. How are we going to enter the hold? Well, you proceed to the hold and you ask yourself, now that I'm here at this hold, which entry is the one that allows me to get into the hold while turning the least? Well, if I fly to the fix and I do a parallel entry, I didn't have to turn very much at all. If I do a teardrop entry, I'm going to have to turn a bit more. And if I decide I'm going to do a direct entry, I'm going to have to turn oh, a considerable amount. Obviously, the correct one is the parallel entry. And if we check, yep, sure enough, our aircraft is in the parallel entry. So, it doesn't matter where you are, this works anywhere around the entire holding fix. All you have to do is say to yourself, which of these three entries, either the direct, the parallel or the teardrop allows me to enter the hold with the least amount of turn. And whichever hold entry allows you to enter the hold with the least amount of turn, that is the correct entry. See ya!